Blue Squad, welcome back to another episode of season three. It feels like it's been a while since I've talked to you guys directly or made like a proper vlog. It's been like a few videos now, but I've honestly um, just been enjoying the spring and soon to be summer. We have another exciting weekend of racing. I am on my way to New Orleans in Louisiana. There was a whole sort of change of plans. I was originally supposed to go to Missouri for this race, but the track was new and it just wasn't ready or it wasn't safe or something like that. So everything got moved to New Orleans, which I haven't been to since 2015. So it should be pretty fun and have a full weekend of uh, the next rounds of the SRO Championship. So unfortunately, right when I got to the airport, I got a notification that our flight got delayed like two hours, which is kind of unfortunate because I was set to get into New Orleans around like six o'clock which meant I could go to the track, hang out with the team, check out the rig and everything like that. But now I don't get until about like 9, 9.30. So just gonna get picked up and have to go to the Airbnb, check out the track tomorrow, which is all good, but just unfortunate because I got here kind of on the early side and then I had like a two or three hour delay, which is just kind of rough. The good news is that we are direct to New Orleans. So you don't have to worry about like missing a connection with a delay. So all good, not exactly sure what the delay is for, but we should be boarding in about like an hour or two. So just kind of hanging out and Pretty easy flight. It was only about three hours direct to New Orleans, which was good. I heard it's supposed to be like 95 degrees or something crazy um, and humid, which driving race cars is very, very hot. So we'll see how it goes. Papa Joe should be picking me up here soon. Um, and then we'll be heading over to the Airbnb. Should we do want the morning session on what's on the cars now and the afternoon session do 40 minutes, take them off and put them away for VIR. Okay, I mean, I'm okay with that. Good morning guys, welcome to the first day of NOLA Motorsports Park here. Today is just a test day. So we have two sort of unofficial test sessions. So they're not even like an official practice session. It's really just um, a test day through the track itself. They let people get some track time, let us figure out the car. So we have two 40 minute sessions today, which is actually really great. And then tomorrow, which is Friday, we'll start the official practice sessions. Like I mentioned last night, it should be very, very hot. These first two days, it already is quite warm. So I think it's gonna be a huge sort of element or fact that we're gonna be battling. Uh, this weekend, but uh, we just have to sort of play through it and hope uh, hope we can figure out the cars enough um, So we are on in about two and a half hours like this first day is just sort of meant to figure out the track figure out the car um, Before we really start get racing What are you guys doing right now? <laughs> We're taking the air out to add nitrogen. It's a little bit of a process. You have to do it a few times to make sure you have nothing but nitrogen in it and no air. Why can't we use air? When the air gets when the tires get hot, the air will expand at a different rate than the nitrogen. The nitrogen is more stable than the air is. So we can predict the tire pressure better with the, with the nitrogen than we would be able to with the air. We want tire pressure at a certain, within a certain range, where the air will be all over the place. We can kind of predict where the nitrogen will be and stay there.
It is. It's different. Okay. It's a lot more front grip, but I definitely lost the rear in some areas. Like okay. it's it's a lot more oversteer, which which is okay. I think it's it's manageable. I'd rather have that than not being able to turn. Sounds better. We just gotta get the back dialed in. That would be ideal, and I I don't know if we're gonna be able to get both, but it's definitely uh like the the problem just kind of reversed and it's not that it's bad like it just is a lot more loose the car's a lot more active but i did about the same time and i think slower conditions and stuff yeah, like it's that definitely hotter out yeah so um okay um like the understeer is basically gone acceleration zone and here we go racing race number one of the weekend in Nola Motorsports Park and Gugliari gets a great jump from the pole position he will lead the field into turn one he does and Jacob Brew did not get a great start now he tries to get to the inside into that brake zone does now get inside of Garrett second, Rude third, and Lucas Catania running in the fourth spot. And it's interesting that Lucas is starting to pile the pressure onto the reigning champion, Jacob Root, falling back into his clutches. He thought that he told Amanda, I'm just going to try and follow Kigliari down into turn one. He attempts to make that happen. Now he dropped back a little bit, getting the attention of Catania. And this is really indicative of what we saw in qualifying with the top four separated by a mere 23 hundredths of a second. Catania was on the podium in each of the first two races, third in race one, second in race two, made a single start last year at Watkins Glen in race two where he finished third. Rolling around a lot compared to the very stiff platform it looks like on the mini. Battle for the final step of the TCX podium and both of these gentlemen appear to have their hands full. Jacob Rood in that number one car, he has the top spot but not so far behind is Lucas Catania who continues to hound the reigning class champion. He's really putting immense pressure on, so when Jacob Rude has a bad day, he's finishing second. Right now, he's got a big problem on his hands to even hang on to that final podium spot right now. Kugliari and uh, Gara a couple of seconds up the road, and uh, Catania's keeping Rude honest here. I think Catania might be the quicker of the two if you were able to get by. And comparing last lap times, Catania was a couple tenths quicker than Rude. But this is a difficult track to find spots to overtake on. Maybe a little bit less so for these touring cars, less aero dependent, don't create the same kind of wake. But we've talked to a number of drivers that have said there are places that can present a chance, but you might not be fully alongside. You really have to commit to the move.
seems to be fine. I've just been watching the gaps between Ian Root. Oh, that was eating a lot of that curb. Little mistake there. And Catania took a peek up the Ooh, inside. Did he damage the suspension there? He really clobbered that. He could be in trouble here. He just got dirt on his tyres trying to regroup a little bit. But boy, did he really eat a lot of that curb and went for the big ride. That's the fight for third and fourth. Yep, slips out wide. Does Kugliari into the inside. Catania now up onto the podium. I was gonna get I was gonna get that car driving by. What car? The dot the, the caravan and he turned around. You can't take a picture of me. I am. Nice. You didn't take a picture of me, you click anything. Let me see. How do you think the race went? Race one. I think we did well. Started fourth, finished third. Um I'm on a spot, so I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> It has been a overall a good weekend. Um, we raced yesterday where we finished third place. We started fourth, ran our way up to third in a very, very tight uh, top four battle. Basically, all the top four guys were nose to tail for a long time. Um, and we came away with the second fastest lap time of the race. So we're gonna be starting on the front row for the race this morning. Um, so we'll be starting outside pole here. Had some trouble filming um, this week and i kind of doing my best just while also focusing on the actual racing itself because it is um, very close racing uh, this weekend and with the new track and everything like that. So the most important thing is that we are showing really good pace. You know, we're running right up there with everyone else. So I think we're slowly starting to figure the car out. Um, and I think the biggest thing is we're understanding when there's an issue with the car or a problem, um, we kind of know what to change to help remedy that and move in a good direction, which I think is gonna really pay off here um, for the rest of the season. So again, just as our little private team with a few guys, I think we're doing pretty well hanging with the bigger teams, which is always pretty fun. But 6.40 in the morning, doesn't even feel that early. The past two or three days, past two days have been really, really early mornings at the track. So kind of nice because it's not as hot, but we're just kind of getting the tires situated for the race. And then we will be, uh, be the first group out this morning. Rude on the inside, the mostly blue car. Garrett in the silver with the red trim, fighting for the overall lead as they have been since the drop of the green flag with Lucas Catania, a very interested spectator running in third. Root again swings wide. Garrett can't find a way to pounce. He's able to sit back there right in the tire tracks, continuing to hound the race leader. And Adams is right there as well. Look, he's caught this lead quartet. He's now sitting there in the fifth spot in the blue car. This has just been fantastic in the TCX class, effectively a spec class. Everyone running the same BMW M2. 
Just really try to figure out the puzzle is it this racetrack. Garrett believes he's got a faster race car. I'm not sure if he just uh, was driving by himself, if Rude may have a little bit more lap time, but he's having to be very technical in terms of where he's placing that race car, not opening up the door. That may be compromising his lap times a little bit. Meanwhile, Garrett's just on full attack. Two championship caliber teams as well at the front of this field in fast track racing with Jacob Rude, formerly the classic BMW team. Same team, just different name for 2022. And right behind Rooster Hall Racing, which had so much success with Johan Schwartz over the years. There has been some contact with the barrier. Let's see if we can see what oh, happened. Oh, yeah, just drops a wheel there on the exit of 11. And that's the first we've seen anyone go for this ride. But with the amount of rain we had here yesterday, you just uh, slide across that grass at unabated speed. Heavy, heavy impact there, just short of the uh, tire bundles, unfortunately. Provisional results, Jacob Rude over Colin Garrett. Lucas Catania, though, will stand on the podium once again. A nice weekend for Lucas.